one of the great things about this year's Sustainable Events Corner at EIBTM is the number of big companies that are presenting. And I'm talking to Claire McCauley from electronics giant Siemens. Claire McCauley, you're from Siemens and you've been presenting at the Sustainability Corner at EIBTM this year. Uh, how come Siemens got involved? Well, Siemens have created this fantastic new building called the Crystal in East London with sustainability at the forefront of it. So we are the most sustainable building in the world. Uh, we have incredible technology, but as well as being the building having incredible technology, we also have an exhibition and we have a meetings and conference destination. So we're really there to promote sustainability, to, to challenge the way that people think about sustainability and about the way that we live. Whilst doing that, we have these fantastic state-of-the-art meeting rooms, we have a 270-seater auditorium, and we have the facilities to have fine dining, network events, um, symposiums. We are 10 minutes from London City Airport and the London's financial district, so we are a great hub for business and incentive meetings and events. Now, just a minute, you're from Siemens, yeah? Yep. And Siemens has set up a sustainable events, what could we call it, um, community location in the heart of London. Why would Siemens and Electronics Giant do that? Well, we don't all only do electronics. So we are a giant, we're an industry giant, but we're a giant within sustainability. And we want to really be at the forefront of that. So we have invested £30 million into this fantastic building, which really showcases what we do. And although it's not, um, we're the crystal, so we're not Siemens. We have our own independent um, marketing, etc., and brand, but we definitely hold the Siemens values of innovation. And in order for Siemens to showcase what they do, they've invested into this or created this fantastic building, but they're really making proper use of it. They're making it as efficient as possible. They have created it to be a three-dimensional building so that not only is it a visitor attraction and a conference and events destination, but it's also the center of competencies for them. So it's the thinking hub. And one of the things that Siemens really want to do is they want to invite countries from all over the world, they want to invite city planners, um, transport companies to come over and let's think about sustainability and let's think about how we can, can change those. So we've already hosted a number of um, events and conferences with the UN Habitat, um, with DLD, with, uh, we've had speakers from Tel Aviv, Rio, really from all over the world um, at the forefront of ch this change and we're at the forefront of the change as well which is really exciting for Siemens actually that they'll get a return on this fantastic investment. Now, presumably it's open to any company who wants to actually hold an investment, uh, a conference or an event there, yeah? Absolutely. But are they going to be paying a premium because it's all sustainable? Absolutely not. One of the things that we have done and looked at closely is the fact that we are in East London. So we are in a regeneration site, we're in a green zone, and we've looked very closely at the, the, the other venues at, around us, the other hoteliers around us, and we've placed ourselves in amongst that. So not only are we working towards sustainable events, but we're actually giving you great value for money, and it's fine for me to say that, but we are very competitively, competitively priced, and we offer just do generally offer a fantastic service so the technology that we have because we're owned by a technology company is second to none we can offer you as standard uh, 80 inch lcd screens in basic meeting rooms you know we have natural daylight throughout we have smart technology throughout all of which comes within that day delegate package or a meeting room hire as standard so you're really getting a lot more for your money. We're not um, we're not a hotel. We are a serious meeting and conference venue. And I think we our knowledge of technology as well has has really given us the the viewpoint that we're. A, we want to use the building as a blank canvas. So if your delegates come and they have a meeting there, they can also have access to the exhibition. They can also have access to our street area. And as I say, we've got a great, we've got great stakeholders. So we've got fantastic 
locally sourced produce from our catering partner, so we can really deliver the whole package. It's fascinating. What interests me more than anything is that if Siemens are doing something like this, and they are a huge multinational company, then sustainably, sustainability must equal profit. Absolutely. We have a 30, we have a 300 billion share um, of the marketplace um, within sustainability, and the and and the industry sectors that that, that come from that. So, you know. Undoubtedly, it would be wrong of us to say, well, we're not interested in the profit side of it, because we are. However, we see that to create something like the crystal, there are efficiencies for us. We have, it's a flagship, um, it's a great PR opportunity, it's a great marketing opportunity for us to bring city planners in to be ahead of the game. Um, but it also is about showing people what else we do, showing them that actually we are a market leader in these areas, but we're not just about mobile phones. People always think Siemens are mobile phones, and they're absolutely not. Um, on the train, I was on the train um, to the airport yesterday, and I turned and it was a Siemens train that I was on. So we're ahead of innovation, and we see the need for sustainability. Um, and we, we really want to be a part of that. It's a, it's a key and core message of where we want to be. Well, it's clear that you're certainly buying into it wholeheartedly and I think you really, really enjoy your job there. Thanks a lot for talking to me, Claire. Thank you. Thanks very much.